Yo, what's up, motherfuckers? I, I realize I gotta start holding the camera more like this. <laughs> that this is not my this is not my best angle. I I gotta camera up. Gotta keep remembering that camera up. So I finished Joe versus Carol today. And oh, about that, I have to say I think um, the majority of the best parts. Or the shit that I was watching yesterday, like the early on episodes. Um, I've just been thinking about it and like... I'm just not crazy with the ending. Uh, spoiler alert to the one or two people watching this. If you, if you even want to watch this show. Because I mean, I've seen it's been getting awful reviews on almost every website except like one. So... On the rare... Like, minuscule chance that there is a person watching this that wants to watch Joe vs. Carol. Skip ahead a couple minutes. Because, towards the end, it, it just, the story gets strange. Like, with the whole murder for, murder for hire shit. Um, like, Jeff Lowe is, like, oddly barely involved in it. Like, they, they totally get accurate the him wanting to steal the zoo from Joe and how he tricked Joe in that regard. But he has very little involvement in the uh, murder for hire. He is slightly involved, but I mean, it's nothing like they show in the documentary. And um, I get that, I, I thought, I don't get, I thought maybe that was because um, Jeff is, like, on the side of Joe in the public right now. But that doesn't make sense in regards to that the end of the show is very pro-Carol. Um, I think that at some point in the show, the they stop showing... Carol, or they stop showing Joe as a complex character. He's one-sided. He's he only cares about him. That's it. And I agree that that was his most uh, out there characteristic in real life too. But it just doesn't make sense for the show because in the earlier episodes they show all these flashbacks and shit that make him a very multifaceted, complex type of anti-hero. And they show that for Carol throughout the show, even with the Don Lewis shit, like, she is, she has her issues, but she is also, you can be sympathetic to her. They make Joe like that out at the start, but towards the end, he's just gone full villain, almost. Which, I'm, again, I'm not saying that, like, he, he did, sh like, shoot tigers dead just for fucking... To prove a point to another human being. Like he did not care about animals. But I'm just saying. It's goofy that the original documentary. Made Joe out to be more. Like of that bad guy. But you could still sympathize with him in certain ways. Than the fucking dramatization. It just goes super pro Carol towards the end. Which then is weird. Because they spend the last couple of episodes. Having you hate Joe. Which, for some of the shit he did, understandable. But that's how it goes. They have you hating Joe. And then they have, like, this weird good moment with him in the end. Figuring out, or finding out in jail that he's famous. And it's like, well, you just showed me over the last, like, two hours why I shouldn't be happy for this guy. So what is that? And then Carol just dancing on the beach. And they got that fucking thing that they showed in the end of every, like, uh true story movie like just text telling what the people are doing nowadays and it's like carol blah 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 fighting for big cats still today etc and it just says joe maldonado will be released in 2036 that's it to mention his cancer or still fighting his cases so it's very pro carol but I just don't, they, did, they don't go into any of the Carol hypocrisy. I'm not saying one of the, I feel 
stronger towards one of these two people. I'm just saying they showed almost every hypocrisy and bad thing of Joe, but they didn't go into the fact that Carol has animals in captivity or the tapes of her from like being young and talking about uh, how it's okay to have animals in captivity that they show at the end of Tiger King. They do go a little bit into her shit with Don Lewis and show her in a more questionable light, but it's just very pro-Carol overall, and I don't know if I was expecting that. I guess it makes sense. It's a safe way to go, but I'm not saying that's a bad thing about it. I'm just saying it was strange, and if you are going to watch it and you are not looking for that, then you should know. Um, but overall, I enjoyed it. It was exciting. The casting was great. The acting was great. Um, if, you, if, you're, if you're curious, I would say take a look. But, I mean, it's not the craziest thing ever. It's not anywhere close to the original documentary show. Um... I just had a weird day because I just haven't done anything, like didn't work. And I feel like a lot of my productivity and shit came from music and my computer is all fucked up. So I haven't been doing that. And also my motivation has been fucked up. <sighs> so I really need to like clean or do something productive, but just been in a down mood. And I had some friends going out tonight and I declined the invite because one, I wasn't gonna be able to drink super much. I have had two beers tonight, but even like I drank two beers within like an hour and a half and if I went out with my friends, I, w I would have wanted to drink more. I, we would have been out for a while. And also, secondly, they're out in a town that I don't like to fucking go out in, stupid college town. And third, one of the dudes with them is a dude that I am definitely, like, not cool with anymore. And I almost feel weird about it that my friends are still cool with them, but they're my friends, so I don't want to give them shit to... I tease them about it or give them shit about it, but... I don't want to end my friendship with them just because they still like this dude, but I really don't understand it. I don't, so just chose to be lonely here all day, which whatever, but at least I've had Joe versus Carol and Triangle Strategy, which I've put almost like seven or eight hours into now, but I think for the rest of the night, I'm going to chill and play like some fucking Ultra Moon or Arceus because I've been going through all that dialogue and Triangle Strategy and it's a lot, but um... AEW Revolution tomorrow, so I'll have that to look forward to also. Um, I'm going to let y'all go. Be easy. Uh, I didn't mean to have that end on too much of a downer. I, I just had a down day, so I apologize for that. Um, I will say, cool thing, I'm watching this anime monster now, which if anyone knows this and... Or anyone watching this that knows Monster probably laughing at me because I've heard that it's among the levels of, like, the more depressing, like, fucked up shows. But that's my shit, man. I'm, that's what I'm looking for. Something, uh, something intense that's going to make me feel something. You know? After watching that Joe vs. Carol, I need something deeper. So, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I'm on, like, episode six. So I'll keep y'all updated with my progress through that. All right, y'all. Peace. Be easy.